Hello guys, this is the bioinformatics coach here and today I'm going to show you how to visualize genomes using the CGView tool. The only requirement for this tutorial is your internet browser. So before we go into it, why would we want to visualize genomes? Scientists are able to make meaning out of complex genomic data in an effective manner if this data is represented in a more visual way. And doing that enables the scientists to discover hidden patterns. In addition, information such as region-based features are better represented using a graphical format. And so for this tutorial, we are going to generate this cool genome map here, which is that of Mycobacterium ostrans AGY99 strain complete genome. So let's get started. So before you visualize a genome, of course, you need to have your data. And so what we are going to do is to download a data from NCBI that we'll use. And so we'll visit NCBI, go to the nucleotide database, which is here, and then search for the genome. We are using the AGY99 strain. There's a bacterial genome. Now, the, when you search with this query, you are going to have the complete sequence, but this is not what you want. We want the complete genome. So let's scroll down to get the complete genome. That is here. Okay. And we will download the data. We want the GenBank format. So we go to send to, click on file, and then go to the formats. There are two GenBank file types. So we need the four one, this one, and then you will download it. Let's give it a name. Okay. We have it completed. After getting our data, we will go to the CG view server. You mean the web server. So let's search for CG view. So we use this link. Now on the CG view server, I mean the web server, you can run an example using their inbuilt data sets or you can use your own data sets. We have downloaded our data set from this site. Okay, so we we'll use that. And so we will need to upload. So we we'll click on browse, and then locate our data, and then create the map. Sometimes you might be notified that your job is in a queue. So you just have to wait. There are a number of submissions that goes on. So uh, that's why you have such notifications. But it shouldn't take much time to generate the map. So when it's completed, you have this map generated. Okay, now let's look at this map. This map um, has several labels, okay, which means it's a bit busy. But in, in, in the visualization um, process, we want to um, plot or we want to display the relevant information that tells the user what message we want to take across. So in this particular map, we can choose to hide some information, okay, some information from being um, displayed. So we will hide this one, the MISC RNA, and then this, and then this one, and this one. We are going to hide this information here. Okay, so we will do that by making changes in the sections from this right side here. Okay, so to hide some information, you will come to this side, click on tracks, sorry, we will click on the legend. Okay, so when you click on the legend, we have this information also being displayed here. We have all of them here, okay, this way. So the one that we want to hide, let's say we want to hide a TRNA, we click on it, 
you can click on it but we want this eye this eye here you click on the eye and then that information is hidden we can do the same for the R RNA that is also gone and then we do the same for this one the MISC feature it's gone and then we also have the MIS, MISC RNA we click on it notice that whenever you make a change it's affected immediately on the map here okay another thing you should also take note is that the labels here the color of the labels here correspond to the legend here so if you have this color this mobile element so the color is defined here so any um, label with this particular color is a mobile element okay we will still want to remove a lot of these labels we want to represent just a few of them okay so to represent just a few of them we will first have to hide all these features first and we will do that by coming to this side again we go to settings we go to labels and then we click on only favorites now we've not set any favorites and that is why this place now appears blank so we are going to set the favorites and we will do that by going to features and so when we are the features then we can select the individual features we want to be displayed by making them favorite so first of all let's use met e you search and then you get the results so met e we click on it and then we check the favorite and then it appears here let's do the same for adh make a favorite let's do the same for the rpe we also make it a favorite okay let's add some mobile elements so we can search here when you search like this you have all the mobile elements being displayed okay it's a type here okay so we can just do it but since i know the specific one i want to use is2606 i search for that and then you can see that using this search term we have type cds type mobile elements because it's a mobile elements i'll use this one and i check it let's use another one 2404 insertion sequence 2404 click on it also make it yes so now we have that and finally let's add some repeat regions to it you can add just two so let's use the first one here make it yes and then let's use uh, maybe the last one we also make it yes so we have these labels being shown okay notice that the colors here for the repeat region is slightly faint okay so it, it, it makes some other labels um, gain more attention than it so we want to just change the color a bit so to change colors for labels we go to the legend okay and then for each of the legends let's say repeat region we click on it and then we change the color here so let's give it this color and then we're done okay so that gives it the color now you have this other one here font type or font style and we also have both italics and font size so this particular modification affects the legends themselves okay so if you want to make the legend bold or italic or change maybe the font style then you can use this section okay this one will affect that one but it wouldn't affect this label seal okay so we will now change the color now let's also change the color for the mobile elements 
you can just make it let's see a blue maybe a dark blue color okay yes so you can just do that and make it that color okay so that's for the color for the labels now if you are done with this we can also make some additional um, modifications if you want let, let's what make this bold all the labels here let's make them bold so to make them bold we will go to settings and then we go to labels and then we make them bold and so notice that they are now bold so depending on how you want the map to be represented you can make some of these modifications here okay we want to want to add some additional information gc contents so those are tracks so we have some tracks here we can add we will add the gc content so we click on gc contents and then we wait for it to be added notice that there's a number here that is increased that's a percentage in terms of um, where uh, this particular compilation has reached so you just wait while it gets populated into your map okay so when it's complete that is when it's at 100 percent then this also appears that's the gc content we can also add the gc skew that is also complete we have that here okay so that is for the genome map you should also note that with the genome map with the cds okay you have the forward and reverse strands here that's what we have here these two okay but if you want to make changes to it you can just go to the display features cds here the strand here is separated okay and then make some changes if you want to but we will leave it at the default settings aside this notice this color here this color commands attention and so we want to give it a milder color so that the viewers can also pay attention to the other features here so this the title so if you want to change them we go to captions and then we change the title here so you can change the title or you can also change the color let's change the font color here you can also make it bold you can also make it italic change font size and type that can also be done we want to remove this information and so that's just under the more info section so we can hide it and hide it here okay so now we have our genome map complete and so because we are doing it on the web server we want to download to our local machine and we do that by using the download tab here and then you can change the output size of the image and then download it okay so we download to our local machine good so we now have it here so we can go to the local machine and view the map i saved mine on a desktop and so i'll come to the desktop which is here and then I view it so this is the image we have in subsequent videos I'll be showing you how to add some additional features to the map and also be doing videos on visualization using other tools like circles and then DNA plotter thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again in the next session bye bye